Hey guys, I've got another action figure review for you today, and this time we're going to take a look at the Iron Man Armored Avengers series War Machine. This guy is a really cool, definitely one of the best War Machine figures out there, um, especially in the 6 inch scale. Uh, he was released in <clears throat> February of 2011, and he was a, actually a repack of the Iron Man 2 Walmart exclusive War Machine, and that was released in March of 2010. This guy's got two different packaging variants, basically. Um, he was Wave 1 in both of those series of figures. And, um, yeah, he's definitely really, really cool. Um, he's got some accessories I'm going to show you, um, great articulation, really great sculpt. Uh, but before we get to that, I'm just going to show you the package. Now, again, this is for the Armored Avenger series, so um, I don't have the packaging from the Walmart exclusive version. Um, so this is... Sorry. Iron Man, the Armored Avenger, and then this, so this was all the lead up to the Avengers film, so it has the Avengers Assemble logo, um, Iron Man up at the top, so it's a Legends series figure, so it's a 6 inch scale Marvel figure, it fits in with the Marvel Legends, great articu same articulation as those guys, you know, um, snap on weapons, really great, made by Hasbro, and then the back shows you a nice, um, image of the figure, which, interestingly enough, you see here and here, he's got blue arc reactor repulsors, but that's not accurate to the figure. Um, stuff on weapons again, and then it shows you some other from this series, um, the Iron Man Mark VI, which I almost picked up, but I picked up War Machine instead, and I'm so glad I did, because, I mean, this is a really great figure. <laughs> Um, Hulkbuster Iron Man, Titanium Man, and some other figures that were in this series were um, War Machine, the Initiative um, suit, um, armor, and um, there was like a Crimson Iron Man or something like that, I don't know. But um, yeah, so I actually picked this guy up <clears throat> quite a few months ago now, probably um, October or November, in my local Toys R Us. Um, he was 20 bucks on the shelf, but I had a $20 voucher from Groupon that I bought for $10. So really it was like I got this guy for like 10, bu 10 bucks plus tax, so it was like $13 or something. Um, really, really great price. He goes for like 30 to 45 now on eBay and Amazon. Um, so I was really excited, um, because, especially because he is so great. Um, like, <laughs> yeah, so, um... Before I show you the figure itself, I'm just going to show you what he comes with. Um, he actually, uh, out of the box, he doesn't have everything he's got on right now. Um, this gun and the, the, I guess this is the ammo for it. I'm not very good with guns, guys, but from other reviews, I've gathered this is called a Gatlin gun. And this is, this is somehow like the bullets for it. Um, this was not on him out of the package, so that is, is one of his accessories. Um, this piece here comes off of his shoulder. So this was also like an accessory because um, another one of his accessories, the uh, I don't know, missile launchers, I guess, they can snap into this spot here. Um, yeah, I didn't really get it all the way in there, but that's what goes in there. So you can put in either the missile launchers or just cap it off with to match the other side with that piece, which I like to do. So those are both accessories as well. And um, then the rest are some interchangeable hands, which are really cool. Right now, he I have his right hand in um, a fist, closed fist. Left hand is in sort of an open, um, slightly open fist. Um, so he's got, you know, um, obviously his, I have a left closed fist and um, a right slightly open. But then each hand also has the typical Iron Man War Machine, uh, you know, repulsor hand that you're gonna shoot shoot at people with. They're all, you know, got the hinges on them. They easily pop in and out with a little peg. Um, so that's a really cool. I, I guess I'll, sh you know, I'll switch out one to show you. Um, so I'll take out his left hand. Just kind of give it a tug. I haven't switched this out in a while, so it's a little tight. But, okay, so it comes out, and he's got a hole, whoop, no hand. But yeah, that's his left, uh, and I'll put in the repulsor hand. Just pop it in there, okay. And yeah, so now he's got that hand in there. Really cool. 
I love interchangeable hands. I don't. I think this is my only figure that actually has them right now, but definitely really cool. So yeah, let's take a look at the figure, guys. Um, really, really awesome sculpt. Um, you know, I just like I can't say enough about it. Really, it's just a really phenomenal sculpt. Um, the Iron Man from this series also looks really good, and someday I might want to pick him up as well. But I ended up getting this guy with my Toys R Us voucher, so I, I didn't want to buy anything else from Toys R Us, because they actually are a bit overpriced. Like, their Marvel Legends figures are closer to $18, whereas, like, Target has them for 15 So that same day, I actually ended up buying um, my Extremist Iron Man for 15 bucks and my, my uh, Marvel Legends Thor with a Target gift card I had, and it was all in one day. And, um... So, I figured, you know, I'll get the Extremist Iron Man, I don't need the movie series right now. But, um, definitely glad I did that because I love this war machine. But yeah, anyway. <laughs> yes, yes, I love it, I love it, I love it. Okay, let's just show you why. Um, again, really, really awesome. These, um, these pieces lift up, so he can, he's nicely articulated, and they have these, you know, stampings on, the military stampings on them. Both arms, both shoulders, rather. I mean, he's just got little details like this, this stripe, you know, on his weapons, um, you know, both sides here, you know, um, one thing is like this arc reactor here, it's supposed to be red, um, I don't know if you can see it in there, there is a tiny bit of red around the edge, but for the most part it looks white, so, you know, like here's the, here's the repulsor, and you can see there that that's red, so I kind of wish the arc reactor had a little bit more red, you can actually see it better in person. Oh, there's a little bit in this spot right here. But, yeah. Um, so the, the, you know, the arc reactor's red, the eyes are red. Really nice. He's got, um, little red triangle on his head, both sides. Um, I think that's, oh, oh, he's got more markings on his chest piece. I think that's it for the, all the markings. And yeah, otherwise a really nice sculpt, so I'm just kind of going to slowly show the details on the armor. Really, really nice. Little pieces, just little details. Yeah, this is one of my earliest figures when I started collecting last, uh, last year, and like, just really impressed with it right away. Um, and it was interesting because when I was shopping for him um, in the Toys R Us, and I looked at the other movie series figures, like the, the Mark VI Iron Man and stuff, the they didn't look like they had a really good paint job at all. That was another reason I didn't pick up that Iron Man, is I just was not impressed with the paint job. Um, oh, there's another marking, I lied. Um, but this guy is pretty solid compared to the Iron Man, so really happy about that. Yeah, just a really phenomenal sculpting, even details on the bottom of the feet. So you can see it doesn't have peg holes, but that's pretty typical of Iron Man figures and stuff like that because they actually usually have the repulsors on the bottom of the feet. And you can see he has circles here, or I guess those would be, I guess I could just paint those white or with a little bit of red, and that would be more accurate. But, yeah, let me show you the back of the gun. So yeah, this piece, um, it connects, it hooks into his back right here, and you can take it right out. Um, it doesn't come in with him. And it hooks into the gun, and, um, you can move it, and it kind of naturally wants to sit, like, right here, but it looks kind of silly right over the top of his head. I like to tilt it over here, and then it starts to twist, see, it, it, it starts to twist this, and, um, then it doesn't want to stay right in this hook, so... That's a little bit of a pain, but no no biggie. I mean, you can also twist it this way, you know, and that, that helps. That's definitely a little more comfortable. Sorry. Twist it over to his his right or left. But, um, yeah, so he's, he's really phenomenal. His um, paint is, is uh, it's like a, you know, it's like a gunmetal gray, but it's not metallic for the most part, except the bright silver pieces. Those are all metallic. Really nice. And yeah, it's it's actually clean, really clean, as opposed to the other movie series figures I saw. I like how this detail behind the knee is this light, is a light silver. It really looks like, um, 
that. I don't know, I think it's sort of gear or something running through the back of his knee. Really cool. Um, <clears throat> and like I said, he's really highly articulated, like the Marvel Legends, so I'll show you that. Um, his head, you know, it doesn't have a lot of up motion, but it, uh, oop, sorry, the gun is getting in the way, but <laughs> his is, okay, uh, there we go. This is, um, basically all the way up, and then it goes all the way down. Um, it does move, you know, a little bit side to side, but these, um, you know, these pieces on his shoulders kind of keep you from getting it rotated anymore. I suppose if you took this out again, you could, you can get it a little bit more to the right, yeah, like that. So you could always do that if you really wanted him looking to the side. Um, but... I don't know. I think it's okay without that. Sorry, guys. Um, yeah, these pieces on his shoulders move up and down so that you can move his arms. Um, you know, like all the way up like this. They go up and around. It's, you know, ball disc shoulders. Um, he's got a bicep swivel. Nice detail on the bicep also. Really nice. Um, double jointed elbows. Nice and smooth. The, uh, you know, the wrist, the, this, these pieces go up over the hands, um, because you want to be able to move, move the hinge. So, like I said, the hands are all on hinges, but they're on those little pegs, so you can easily, you know, swivel them around as well. So, basically a hinge and a swivel on the wrists. Um, he's got this kind of, you know, typical Iron Man, like, upper torso swivel thing going on. This is pretty loose. I mean, if I shake him, he doesn't really move, but yeah, it's really nice and smooth. Um, some people don't really like this joint, but I think it's, I think it's fine. I don't, you know, I think it actually looks nicer than like an ab crunch because it just looks like part of the armor and it doesn't look unnatural to me. Um, but you know, so that means no waist swivel at this part here. It's pretty standard for the Iron Man kind of thing, but he does have, you know, ball jointed legs. Um, so they kind of turn around, they go in and out, but not super far. Um, you know, I mean, how I don't need to go out too far, but that's it. Um, no sort of cut in the thigh at all because he does have it like on the ball joint. So um, double jointed knees, which are really kind of crazy. Like, look at this. Goes all the way back, and the the, the the detail on the double joints is really cool because this is the knee closed, and it has these like tail, these sort of like almost like look like ears. These pieces here, so you start to open up the knee, and then you see this uh, this light silver like kneecap underneath, and under here you see that that piece that goes around the back, and then you just keep bending it, and it opens up into these three. Like it's really cool, really. I think it looks really cool. <laughs> um, and yeah, nothing at the like shin area, and the foot is it moves side to side actually pretty nicely, and. Um, a little bit of forward and back, but not much. So, yeah, guys. I mean, this is a really, really great figure. I de I definitely recommend it. He's one of my favorites in my collection. Um, I mean, he is. You know, he's like a, he's a movie series figure, and he looks like a movie. He looks just like Iron Man from the movie. I'm sorry, War Machine <clears throat> from the movie. Um, so if you're into that, definitely, definitely recommend him. If you're more of like a comic buff, um, I mean, even still. The, uh, he's a great, great figure, and, um, they do make, you know, um, an initiative war machine in this line as well, which looks pretty cool, but, I mean, that is only one form of his armor, um, if you're not, you know, like, into that storyline, then, hey, not really for you, but, um, yeah, <laughs> so this has gone on quite a while, I, I'm gonna wrap it up, but I hope you enjoyed this review, um, I have been waiting to review this guy for quite a while now. I don't know why I put it off so long, because I really do love this figure. Um, as I've said a hundred times by now. <laughs> but, yeah, guys. Um, so, again, this is the um, Iron Man Armored Avenger Series War Machine, also known as the Iron Man 2 Walmart Exclusive War Machine. And I totally recommend him. And I hope you like this review. I will see you guys next time. Thank you, as always, for watching. Bye, guys. Now, probably um, October or November, in my local Toys R Us, 
Um, he was 20 bucks on the shelf, but I had a $20 voucher from Groupon that I bought for $10. So really it was like I got this guy for like 10, bu 10 bucks plus tax, so it was like $13 or something. Um, really, really great price. He goes for like 30 to 45 now on eBay and Amazon. Um, so I was really excited, um, because, especially because he is so great. Um, like, <laughs> yeah, so, um, before I show you the figure itself, I'm just going to show you what he comes with. Um, he actually, uh, out of the box, he doesn't have everything he's got on right now. Um, this gun and the, the, I guess this is the ammo for it. I'm not very good with guns, guys, but from other reviews, I've gathered this is called a Gatlin gun. And this is, this is somehow like the bullets for it. Um, this was not on him out of the package, so that is the typical... Iron Man, War Machine, uh, you know, repulsor hand that you're going to shoot, shoot at people with. They're all, you know, got the hinges on them. They easily pop in and out with a little peg. Um, so that's a really cool. I, I guess I'll, you know, I'll switch out one to show you. Um, so I'll take out his left hand. Just kind of give it a tug. I haven't switched this out in a while, so it's a little tight. But, okay, so it comes out, and he's got a hole. Whoa, no hand. But yeah, that's his left, uh, and I'll put in the repulsor hand. Just pop it in there, okay. And yeah, so now he's got that hand in there. Really cool. I love interchangeable hands. I don't. I think this is my only figure that actually has them right now, but definitely really cool. So yeah, let's take a look at the figure, guys. Um, really, really awesome sculpt. Um, you know, I just... Like, I can't say enough about it, really. It's just a really phenomenal... This is one of his accessories. Um, this piece here comes off of his shoulder. So this was also, like, an accessory. Because um, another one of his accessories, the, uh... I don't know, missile launchers, I guess? They can snap into this spot here. I didn't really get it all the way in there, but that's what goes in there. So you can put in either the missile launchers or just cap it off with to match the other side with that piece, which I like to do. So those are both accessories as well. And um, then the rest are some interchangeable hands, which are really cool. Right now, he I have his right hand in um, a fist, closed fist. Left hand is in sort of an open, um, slightly open fist. Um, so he's got, you know... Um, Obviously, his I have a left closed fist and um, a right slightly open. But then each hand also has so it has the Avengers Assemble logo, um, Iron Man up at the top. So it's a Legend series figure. So it's a six-inch scale Marvel figure. It fits in with the Marvel Legends. Great artic same articulation as those guys. You know, um, snap-on weapons, really great. Made by Hasbro. And then the back shows you a nice um, image of the figure, which interestingly enough you see here and here, he's got blue arc reactor repulsors, but that's not accurate to the figure. Um, Step on weapons again, and then it shows you some other from this series, um, the Iron Man Mark VI, which I almost picked up, but I picked up War Machine instead, and I'm so glad I did because, I mean, this is a really great figure. <laughs> Um, Hulkbuster Iron Man, Titanium Man, and some other figures that were in this series were um, War Machine, the Initiative um, suit, um, armor, and um, there was like a Crimson Iron Man or something like that, I don't know. But um, yeah, so I actually picked this guy up <clears throat> quite a few months ago. Hey guys, I've got another action figure review for you today, and this time we're going to take a look at the Iron Man Armored Avengers series War Machine. This guy is really cool, definitely one of the best War Machine figures out there, um, especially in the 6 inch scale. Uh, he was released in <clears throat> February of 2011, and it was a, actually a repack of the Iron Man 2 Walmart exclusive War Machine, and that was released in March of 2010. This guy's got two different packaging variants, basically. Um, he was Wave 1 in both of those series of figures. 
and um, yeah, he's definitely really, really cool. Um, he's got some accessories I'm going to show you, um, great articulation, really great sculpt. Uh, but before we get to that, I'm just going to show you the package. Now again, this is for the Armored Avenger series, so um, I don't have the packaging from the Walmart exclusive version. Um, so this is, sorry, Iron Man the Armored Avenger, and then this, so this was all the lead up to the Avengers film.